2011 season. This is Daniel Ed with the Ping PGA Tour trailer. Uh, today is January 15th. Started this morning off about 8.15 in the morning. Uh, grabbed a little breakfast, did my routine on the truck, and started heading out on I-10. Throughout the day we've been, uh, been pretty lucky with traffic. Uh, normally we have to pull into way stations every 50 or so, 100 miles. Um, thus far today, we haven't had any uh, stops, mandatory stops. Uh, should be about five, five and a half hours to Palm Springs. And uh, we've been given the green light to park at the tournament today, which is very nice. Uh, most of the times we park on Sundays, so being able to park on a Saturday, especially the fact that we're just coming in, gives you some time to recuperate before you start work on the Monday morning. Um, Looking forward to this week. It's it's a beautiful place to visit. A beautiful golf course and uh, the tournament's always been very good to us. So looking forward to this one. Every 540 miles, gotta stop in for some gas. So. Uh, a little bit of a tedious process. Uh, you have to know your mileage, truck number, uh, trip ID number before you get out of the vehicle. Obviously know the pump. Uh, because of the, the tanks are ballast on both sides, you have to start the front side, driver's side first, and then go over to the passenger side. As you can see, pumping gas and cleaning the windshield. Uh, I'd say the windshield takes longer. Um, driving through the southeast especially, I have to probably clean my windshield every truck stop. Well, it's Saturday at about 3.15. The tournament's given us the green light to set up. First thing we do is take our 35 pound leveling plates, get the trailer up off the ground nice and level. This process takes about 30 to 45 minutes to get the trailer up, open up the workshop, and get ready for the week. As you can see, the pop outs are coming out. That gives me about 32 inches on either side of the trailer. Satellite dish is an auto tracker. Get it onto our favorite sports channel, and we're set for the week. Okay, Sunday morning. I uh, gotta hit the golf course, but before we do that, we need to stop off and buy some groceries, some sodas, some waters, and uh, some snacks for the pros. I uh, got a call yesterday saying I need to uh, be at the trailer for uh, Kevin Sutherland. Uh, we need to do a regrip today, and also uh, build some wedges for some other pros. So let's head on out. Let's get this day started. We're down the snack aisle. I picked up my waters, my energy drinks, and my sodas. Uh, now it's basically time to pick out some multi-grain uh, chips, so energy bars, uh, granola bars, obviously. Uh, that would be something that players need for energy. Uh, pick up some fresh fruit and head back to the golf course. Okay. Uh, we got day two. Uh, this is the Sunday. Uh, yesterday we finished set up at about 4.45 roughly. Uh, as you can see panning around, it's kind of a bit of a mess right now, but once I get all the inventory put away, um, do some cleaning, and then Kevin Sutherland's going to be here in about 10 minutes, and we're going to do some re-gripping, um, and a couple other pros are going to be making their way back. So. First thing we do during the re-gripping process is remove the old grip. We'll take a blowtorch, apply a little bit of heat to it, and that makes the tape a little bit more pliable and easier to remove. From there, as you can see, Kevin Sutherland likes one extra wrap onto the left hand. We'll apply a new layer of double-sided, put a little bit of solvent on there, and then slide the grip on. And once I'm done with that, I'll hand it to Kevin to make sure it's properly aligned. He's very much a field player, and he likes to see the grip a certain way on the club. Today, Bill Lundy's caddy came in asking me to match a 6010 Tour S Rustique wedge, but he requested it at 8 degrees of bounce, requiring me to do a custom grind. It took me about 20 to 25 minutes to put together, and he was on the golf course. 
Okay, Monday morning, 6.15 a.m. Uh, we're expecting to see about 13 pros today. Uh, we've got loft and lies, regrips, and general maintenance of equipment to do. Um, the drive out was successful. The tournament set up on Saturday was very, very smooth. And um, I hope you've enjoyed your time.